what's up y'all welcome back to the sunshine way i am your lovely host kaya and in today's video y'all i have no idea what we're gonna do but we're gonna do something i am right now in my classroom and i'm pretty much like almost done i feel like i'm like 75 maybe pushing 80 percent done with like setting things up um my main thing that i have left to do is my bulletin boards and then this red wall behind me i'm gonna put things on it um but y'all probably gonna watch me do that today or at least watch me talk about it <laughs> i don't know um but i'm excited to be back to school i'm excited to be getting things together and it's really gonna be a good day y'all it really is like but anyways let's get this back to school project back on the road let's get this last two weeks of summer planning thing back on the road and uh yeah so stay tuned first things i kind of wanted to have this red wall right here see we got a mirror right here Ow. um but i really wanted it to be like appealing to the eye but really important things as you can see it's a brick wall so like I can't really do something like with it like I could with the bulletin board so I really want to use it as like an inspirational wall and so basically I got some posters like these um, that kind of matches like with the red wall and yes I do have a chalkboard right there but um that kind of matches with the wall and I wanted to like it to be like inspirational like this one says if you can be kind be quiet if you can't be calm be quiet that's the think poster be a bestie not a bully this is a world map and then i got something over there but i'll read to you in a second we're gonna work on this red wall and uh we're gonna see how it turned out i'm gonna put y'all on the time lapse so y'all gonna see us work in like fast motion but it's gonna take us all day was i don't know if y'all can see okay y'all can see it. we put tape on the corners and then we're gonna we put some like right here on the sides and then on the brick wall we did the same thing put some in the corners and then put them on the sides but as y'all can see it looked like it's gonna peel off so what we did was we put all the clear tape on the sides and on the middle and then we did the same thing with the painters blue tape and this is the clear tape and this is the blue tape is by 3m but we don't know which one's gonna hang best we don't know if it's gonna be best if we just do the clear all around or if we do the blue all on the back or the clear all on the back and then on this one we did clear and blue and we're just gonna see like which one fall off first and that's how we're gonna know which process which what you call it I don't know what we're gonna use so we're about to hang them up and let's go So this is what the final wall looks like. It's, okay, it's not the final wall, but like this is how far we got. <laughs> so uh yeah. And we got some oh, what are words that we're gonna like these words that I put over here, we're gonna put them on this wall, like different places like that. And then we have these wanted posters. 
I keep saying we. It's just me. Uh, <laughs> we got these wanted posters that we're going to put somewhere over there too. I don't know how we're going to do that. You're going to have to stay tuned to the next video because it took me too long to do that. And then I hung these posters up. This is like my little corner for like one person, you know. And I just love this poster. It says, break them on down, break them on down, break them on down. The walls between us. So I thought that was very significant. And this one says, if 10,000 people do a foolish thing, it's still a foolish thing. And then this one is, life is a stage calling us to dance. So that's pretty much all the posters I got put up today. It took me a long time. But yeah, I feel inspired just looking at it. Hey, girl. Hey girl, how you doing? Okay, honey, you trying to be in my mirror? Go ahead, and come back. <laughs> but yeah. In this video, without kind of like explaining my strategic and structured reasons for doing this, first of all, I'm a type of person who likes like organized chaos. So like doing this whole red wall thing, it's like good for me because it's like it's not put together and it doesn't quite make sense but it just looks good it's aesthetically appeasing and it has meaning so i've got a bit of a backlash a little bit about you know doing this inside a uh, middle school um i am going to be working with eighth graders and so i've got a lot of backlash so like that's kind of childish to have like these character words and um these like inspirational little posters and stuff like that but one um older kids need to be reminded constantly because they don't be with me all day um like an elementary school teacher and two um these kids need something that shows them on a day-to-day -day basis without hearing my nagging voice of what is expected of them and the character um, that they can choose and the life that they can choose um, as far as being a student and being um, this socially a good person and behaviorally um, working on those things. Um, a couple things that I wanted to show um, at the end of this video because I'm just like I don't want to leave y'all hanging with just five posters or like eight posters I think I had on the wall because um, that's not the only thing like I said that was going on the wall um, I'm also doing those warning signs and those warning signs basically say different things like cooperative learner leadership like that's what I'm looking for so anytime that they're not on task or not doing thing I might go over and point to the post I might not say their name I might not you know do anything big but this produces a community in the classroom it produces that relationship and it's working on um, routine and behavior without overdoing it so I could just go over if this is what I'm expecting of you I'm going to point to this like let you know like hey get back on task and so um, um Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have these words um, posted. So purpose, communication, gratitude, um, respect. And so these words are going to remind them um, the type of character they want to presume between adults and their peers. And um, something that is very important which you have in life is your character. People remember you by what you do. Um, they're not, they don't always remember <coughs> remember um everything about you they might not remember your name but they will remember your character what you do and what you say represents your character how you present yourself represents your character and so these words i don't care how childish it seems is going to be very important for my students who are getting prepared for high school and who life is um academically and in this work world it's becoming more and more important so i'm preparing them for that so this is why i'm putting these posters i'm putting these words up because they need to be reminded they need to be refreshed and on top of that like i'm preparing them to go to ninth grade and i want them to be able to self-regulate and figure out who am i what type of person what type of character do i want to presume and on top of that how i'm going to work with with others and how i'm going to um 
achieve my goals with confidence. So with the wall and with my whole classroom in general, y'all will see, I want to build that character, that self-regulation, that responsibility for yourself and for your others and just being grateful about life and um, not thinking about what you can't do but what you can do and how to move forward in confidence and I'm just you know we're gonna have crazy faith in my classroom and that's what this whole wall is about another thing that I'm working on is these little world things and it says different words like love peace freedom kindness happiness, unity, beauty, and um, I like when, I, when all my students walk into my classroom, even when the adults walk into my classroom, I want them to feel a sense of peace, a sense of unity, like God's presence is in my classroom at all times. I'm speaking it, I'm claiming it, it's gonna happen and there's gonna be no turmoil. There's gonna be a sense of peace, a sense of structure, a sense of flow, a sense of family, confidence, kindness, all those words, purpose, communication like i'm speaking these things right now over my classroom and i'm i'm very excited about it but i thought it was important to let y'all know why i'm doing the wall and just kind of see my heart behind it and my purpose behind it because it's not just throwing a whole bunch of cluttered posters on the posters and words on the wall and um it's not trying to fill up empty wall space or it's not um something childish that I'm doing is something with purpose, with meaning, and that's going to benefit and help my students on top of, it's going to expand their vocabulary to um, unknown words and kind of like guiding them through the year and through figuring out who they are and how they want to be for their high school career. So that's why um, I'm doing this wall and I think it's gonna turn out beautiful y'all gonna get to see the final thing in my classroom tour so make sure you stay tuned for that and then last but not least on those same black like poster things I told y'all that the words was on I'm gonna recreate this poster um, I'm actually giving this poster to my sister she's gonna be an elementary school teacher but um for me I like this was just too cold for, uh, <laughs> uh, as far as for eighth graders but um and it didn't really it's not that it's too colorful it didn't really go with like the flow i'm trying to go with anyways so i'm going to rewrite these words and it says watch your thoughts they become words watch your words they become actions watch your actions they become habits watch your habits they become your character watch your character because it becomes your destiny and that's like that's what i want them to get that's what i want them to understand so y'all they gonna get it they gonna get it and we're gonna have a good time this school year but anyways i hope you um like this video please come back for more i got classroom uh tours set up i have a whole bunch of classroom videos set up and if you're interested in any of my other content please go and scroll through my videos i have hair videos um faith uh related content i have uh motivational related content um i have just fun content coming for you guys and even more different variety of content coming for y'all so please stay tuned i'm excited for this school year i hope your kids are excited for this school year or if you're a teacher i hope you're excited for this school year and if you're a student i really hope that you're excited for this school year so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you tap 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 that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl up though remember be inspiring, be kind, and don't forget to shine. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.